Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, uh, season three. And it took me the all of five videos, five complete videos, the start of the start of the sixth one, to become completely broke. <clears throat> we have no money left, uh, at least no rubles left, anyway. And uh, as a result of having no money, we also have no power because we're buying power, right? And so, therefore. We are not pumping oil, and we also do not have the ability to, um, <clears throat> you know, export that. So we are going to be kind of starved for resources for a little bit. The vehicles that are going in and out uh, to ship out oil are there to buy me time. That's what they're there for. But unfortunately, we are going to have to take a loan at some point. Just taking a look at the progress that's been made thus far, we have a lot of things going on at once. And... Um, you know, construction crews have been working their tail off, trying their bestest to get things, but there's still, you know, like these little segments here that aren't done yet, and this pipe's not done yet, and so there's just a whole bunch of stuff that still needs to be done. It's, it's just going to take some time to get there. Um, in the meantime, I would like to talk about what we're going to do about the money problem, because this game, it, you lose by getting into debt, and swimming in debt and never being able to get out because your expenses are just way higher than your income is. And as a result of that, you won't be able to power, right? We're going to lose power. Won't be able to sustain uh, clothing and food and the things that they like. Uh, if we're not making our own coal. We won't be able to bring it in. Therefore, we can't heat the homes. Therefore, everyone dies, right? So that is how you lose. This number needs to stay in positive territory permanently. And if as long as it is, then you have hope. All right. That's what it is. So um, what we want to do is talk about how we're going to turn the situation around. Now, we've got four of these houses done. I would very much like to get all of them done, but it doesn't really matter if we don't have all of the extra services and stuff that they need. We don't have hospitals. We don't have fire stations to cover uh, for fire coverage uh, if we don't have a means to get them to the job sites. And speaking of which, we need job sites for them to work. I think one of the reasons why people, myself included, turns out, um, get into debt and get swimming in debt and don't have a good enough money in this game is because they try to put in place things that are permanent, which is what I'm doing right now, planning ahead and saying, hey, there's a permanent thing here, like this giant storage here. Probably didn't need to go this big. Uh, 57 tons of steel, 177 tons of concrete, right? That's all money. That translates into actual money. But there's a thousand work days left in it. We can't use it until we're done with it. And I think so starting small, getting things that you could actually use and then scaling up is usually better. I thought maybe I would leverage debt in this playthrough to get really stable and then get out of debt and continue. That's kind of how we did it in the stream series. So how are we going to do that? Certainly not going to do it by just exporting these little bit of oil that we're doing already, which is right over here, right? We're not going to be able to do this and be like, okay, cool, we're good, okay? So let me tell you a little bit about the game plan. In addition to getting the rail up and so we can, you know, export things by rail later. Um... Here's the game plan. I have another high set of high voltage wires running right alongside this set, but instead of going to this border, because it can't, there's only one connection, right? It is then going to cut and head this way, and it is now going to this border connection. And as soon as we get this built, which we are not doing right now because it's expensive, as soon as we get this built, uh, we will be able to now have a capacity of 30 megawatts on our grid. And that's important because that exceeds the capacity, I mean, exceeds the capabilities of the coal power plant. And so we will be able to export a ton of power. And I think that is how we're going to achieve stability, but not just a ton of power. I want a lot of power. I want more than a ton of power. I want much, much more. So uh, we're eventually going to be able to export more than this, but we have that third connection over there too. And I'd like to leverage that and maybe even get over into that area and send power to this one. Is there a power hook up there? I actually didn't check. There is. So I want to be a major power exporter. I think we can do it. As long as we can have this coal supply dedicated to nothing but power and heat and absolutely no steel, 
we can do this. I think we can accomplish this. All the steel coal will come from over there closer to the steel. So let's try to see what that would take, okay? Now, we got the power coming in and it right alongside this other line here. And then, unfortunately, I, I think I'm going to want this switch to be on this side. Uh, ideally, I would have been cool to have it on this side. It would have worked better, more cleanly. But as a result, I, I'd like it over here. And so uh, we're going to have this kind of switch kind of drive 15 megawatts this direction. Uh, if I need to, and I may, I'm hoping that this thing load balances and stuff. But if I need to, I can always go in and do this instead. I'm leaving that open so that I can potentially hook that up. And then that gives me, again, 30 megawatts that can transfer between the switches like this too. Um, but this power, this little tap right here, is sending it all the way down to this switch. And then this switch is gonna go out that way. Now this switch, uh, because we don't have access to 18 megawatt, this switch is going to have to head all the way over here and hook up distance between poles is too far huh oh we got that other there's that other power pole that's right there that's all right we'll uh do that and then go all the way to here and then hook up like that all right so there's two sets of 15 megawatts going this way too we're not going to be able to build it yet because it's too expensive, right? At the moment, our money is entirely based on our exports. So we can't bring anything in unless we're already sending it out of equal value. So at the moment, we're kind of, we're getting starved at the moment, okay? This is not going to change anytime soon. Uh, it gets a little better when the snow goes away because our exports are faster. I don't actually have anything coming in from the border right now, okay? The only things we're importing at the moment are workers, because I want to keep working on the sites that already have stuff delivered. Uh, and concrete in, and asphalt are still being brought in, too. Uh, but we don't have any gravel being brought in, and we don't have any of the steel or heavy stuff as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and allow them to bring gravel back in. Like, slowly but surely sort of thing here. Um, but in order to do this successfully, we are going to need to go into debt. I'm unfortunate. It's very unfortunate, but we actually have to do this. So we're going to go five year term and I'm going to go like 120 grand. We're going to borrow 120,000 bucks. And again, what I'm hoping for is that this is enough to just keep us afloat for a little bit until we can get people in here in a meaningful way. Bringing people in isn't going to make us money. It's going to cost us money, a lot of money. So those people, when we bring them in, they need to go to work in a way that gets me money back in excess of what they're costing me, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to be swimming in debt forever. So here's the game plan. This switch is actually going to accept numerous inputs from our power grid. And I'm probably going to need another switch in here too. So I, I think and we, we put two switches right back to back like this. That'll probably be how we have to do this. And we'll put it in about like, I don't want it to look like it's all one unit, but it doesn't look like it wants me to do that. All right, so something like this. And then we're gonna need to connect that. Uh, well, yep, gonna have to do that, right? To connect these two together, probably, yeah. Um, so this is gonna give us numerous inputs though from a power center all right a big power center that we're gonna we're gonna do and that is gonna be right here down by the water all right now we don't we got to make sure we don't get in the way of existing infrastructure and stuff and i think that this road this little walking path here yeah we got switches and stuff that aren't built yet these little walking paths might get in our way but here's what i'd like to do we're gonna go over to the only source of power plant we have and that's coal i'm going to make sure that the uh conveyor and uh, the conveyor inputs are kind of together in both of these and what i'd like to do is flatten this ground all the way back maybe even this far back let's flatten this from here and we're just going to keep moving little bits at a time to keep this thing going all right and we can power the, oh we gotta power the discharge too i totally forgot about that oh boy well that's a problem <laughs> forgot about discharge uh let's keep it going though we're gonna again we want to just level this out 
And if we can get this level to maybe about here, should be good. That's That should be enough. Just real quick. I think I went a little too fast there. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, you can see the lines. All right, this is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> and so with this done, we can now place this power plant right here. And then we're going to flip it. We're going to go right next to it. Try to line up those little power arrows there. About like this. I'll give a little more space. You can have a little space. That's it. And there. We want two coal power plants, okay? Because this is going to be an industry. We're going to do this for a purpose of making cash. And I'm going to send, you know, upwards of well, well in excess of 30 megawatts. I'm going to send that to, to the border there and see if I can't make that my source of income that pays for the rest of this republic, okay? So that's what I'd like to do. Uh, so this one is going to be a high priority construction. This one is going to be paused for now because I just need to also get this going and I, I don't have enough coal, obviously. So I'm going to have to buy coal and ship it down here. Very expensive. Lots and lots of trucks all the way that way. Not going to be good. So the next thing we need to also focus on is the rail construction office. Uh, I have this set as a high priority right now, but there's no way to access it because I didn't hook it up. So we're going to go like this. And then we're going to go like this. That will get me hooked up so that my construction crews can get to work on these things. Okay. I want to get this done so that I can buy one of the track builders. And then I want my tracks built so that I can get all this stuff done and start bringing stuff in from the border with a train. Because the train is going to make everything so much faster. Uh, at least as far as materials. It's also going to make this number drop faster. <laughs> um, in bulk anyway, right? Because it's just like, oh, yeah, you want to have, you know, you want me to buy, you know, 500 tons of steel? Cool. And then you just cha-ching. Money goes away, right? So we got to be careful with the train. But I would like to get started on getting the train uh, set up and, uh, and going. So I'm not sure about this building. I still don't know about this pump, this, this diesel delivery here, especially if we're going to be starting construction over here or... I think I can probably get rid of this. For, for the time being, I think I'm going to get rid of this. Um, in fact, I think I actually have a better usage for this space. Because it's 1963. We're getting danger close to having some of these vehicles. Not that one. 12%. Uh, I bet you if I looked at some of these vehicles, we're going to see getting close to 50%. This is 15. This 16%. Let's take a look really quick at our list of vehicles. Uh, list of road vehicles. Can we see repair percentages? I'm looking for custom value setting. Can I see... How about this? No? Oh, I see. This, is, this isn't... This uh, is I thought this was some kind of um, filter, and it's not. What I want to do, I think, is this. Nope, still not. Uh, show wear and tear. There it is. Okay. <laughs> There's a button right here. Uh, I want to see the wear. Can we sort this by column? Yes. Yeah. So we have one vehicle. There's a bus that has 41% wear and tear right now. And look at the value of this vehicle. Two, negative 2.2. I noticed this a little bit ago. I wanted to try and sell vehicles uh, to make up the money because I, I were broke, right? So I was like, well, I've got extra vehicles. Maybe I can sell one. Uh, no. I'm not sure if that was intended or what, but you actually have to pay for this. I think maybe it's a bug or something, but like sell vehicle, that's going to charge me 1200 rubles. That is not making me money. That is going to charge me to get rid of this vehicle. It's a really weird thing. I, I can't put my finger on why that would be intentional. So I'm going to say it's not intentional to have that be the thing. Uh, to have that be the way it's supposed to be, but uh, here we are, and it's going to cost me to sell vehicles. So we're not going to be able to sell vehicles to make money back either. 
So anyway, that's the situation. That's the game plan. I have no idea if we'll make it there, but if we can get to the point where we have both of these running and we can create sort of like a power, a reliable power export, I think that's going to pay for, at least in the near term, that's going to pay for my civilization while I set up the rest of it. So I need to start focusing something that makes me money because I've kind of was too spread out. And that's, I do this constantly. I did it in the stream series even and said I wouldn't, but you know, I don't, I don't think I specifically said I wouldn't, but regardless, that was a mistake I made in the stream series. I don't think I made it quite as bad this time, but it's still debt. Time will tell whether we're in serious debt or not. I think I got at one point two and a half million in debt in the stream series. So if we don't get to two and a half million in debt, that'd be great. Uh, what's the maximum I can borrow? Right now, two million is the maximum I can borrow, pretty much. But as time goes on with inflation and everything, everything becomes more valuable, everything becomes more expensive, and the amount you can borrow goes up over time too. So, uh, at the moment, we're paying nineteen hundred a month, and just that's our payments, not our interest. That's our payments. Uh, but it's still gonna take a long time, and. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have them start bringing in building materials again. I think that's probably an okay thing. Let's go ahead and turn this one back on. I just want to get a quick bump in building materials because I don't think they're actually able to build anything with boards right now. I think we're out of boards. We are out of boards. Uh, we're also out of steel and out of bricks in with these construction offices, but not these ones. These ones still have uh, what they need. And then uh, gravel is still available as well. And then uh, we've got lots of these. I'm going to hold off on importing any more of these. I don't think they're necessary. Uh, so I'm going to leave that alone. So these guys are just going to chill for a bit. Uh, well, it's just one covered truck. Now, nah, let's. I can let these guys go again. Yeah, I can let them go ahead and grab the... grab. It's just gravel they're bringing in. So I'm going to let them do that. Okay, well, anyway, you know the situation now. So I will be... Uh, be right back when I've got more to report, okay? I don't know how long that'll be, but we'll be back when I've got more to say. All right, sorry about the cuts. I've, uh, you know, trying to record these things in between my daughter's naps and everything. I, uh, I'm looking at things, and, you know, I realized that I got kind of started on something I wanted to talk, talk about, and then I, I get like a dog, you know, chasing a squirrel. I'm all over, all over the place, and then I just kind of get distracted. Uh, I got rid of the rail here, right, and the and the, and the train station, and then I started talking about vehicle wear and tear, but I didn't actually get into why I started talking about vehicle wear and tear. Like I, I didn't I didn't get to the punchline, right? So I wanted to kind of remedy that right now. So we've got uh, this area, and I said I wanted to do something else with it. We've got several vehicles that are, you know, 39, 40% wear and tear. We're gonna need to do something about that. So in the road and vehicles tab, in the maintenance section, we have three new buildings, vehicle repair stations. They're small, mediums, and larges, okay? And these, these buildings work a little bit differently than some of the other buildings that we've had before. And there's three different ways that they work. So let's, uh, I'll go through an example with a small one now. So if I look at this, We've got factory connections, road connections, you know, it's pretty much everything is the same. Nothing unique except for this orange square. And sometimes if I get close to a building, these orange squares, if they get inside the orange square, they light up as orange. So what's going on there? Well, if you're new to the game, then this will be new to you. If you're new to this update, well, this will be new to you too. So how this vehicle repair system works, there's three different ways. The first way is regarding vehicles that have dedicated routes. So the T138 cistern, for example, this has a dedicated route. It goes from one point to another. It has a custom made route or a line, so to speak, vehicles that are on a line, okay? These guys, when they get above their repair threshold, they will drive, they'll deviate, right? Just like getting fuel, just like, you know, trying to get gas, they will deviate from their route to go to a repair shop and get repaired, okay? So they will drive to a repair shop. They'll pull in one of the available repair bays. And of course, the larger ones have more repair bays. This one here has uh, two parking spots for vehicles. Just get a little bit. It's 
kind of loud. Uh, two parking spots for vehicles. This one has three. Uh, and this one has six. Okay. Stations for vehicle loading and unloading, I suppose, is 12. So maybe they can have three, six, and 12 are what they can repair, I guess. In any case, that's what these vehicles can do. So dedicated routes, they will drive to the repair shop. All right. But what about vehicles that are, like, say, owned by a construction office, for example, like this one is, right? Well, these guys don't deviate from their routes. They're managed by this building, and they're not going to go to the repair shop. So, ah, this is where that comes in, yeah. The parking spots for vehicles, two, right? So, you can have two repair vehicles that will drive out, and you need workers for these buildings, right? These, these buildings need workers. 15 workers in this one, 30 in this one, 80 in this one at max, right? Uh, they will drive over to this and repair the, the vehicles that need repaired, Okay. So that's the two ways. However, with this orange square, and I don't know why it's not lighting it up. I mean, it should be lighting up like now. This should be lighting up. The, the plan was to put this right here. So I'm uh, not kind of confused as to why it's not lighting them both up in this spot, but okay. Uh, I, I, may, I may ditch that. But what this does is if the building is highlighted orange, then that building and all of the vehicles that are controlled by it are treated as if they're inside the garage. So you don't need a car, you don't need your repair truck to go to that building, and those vehicles don't need to come to you. They're close enough to where your repair people will just walk on over there and repair them, right? And that's the general idea. So I was planning to have 48 vehicles here. I was kind of hoping this small repair shop would just slap itself right here and we'd be good to go so let's see if i can maybe make that happen now i am a little concerned over that because i don't think they're going to be able to get to this place to actually work there i think it's a little too far away bus stop from here to here it's pretty damn far man so i don't think we're going to be able to get these guys to this they're going to only walk at most 400 meters or so with best roads so i think i did this a little too far away on this bus stop so i may need to get another bus stop or a car or something to bring people to the repair shop there might need to be like one vehicle that just brings them over here every once in a while or the alternative plan is just to make two mediums because i was going to need another one anyway right so we're going to need uh i was going to put a medium over here going back to why I deleted the rail, right? I was going to put a medium over here, and that was for... There's a lot of vehicles, right? I'm actually going to place this right here anyway. All right, right up against it should be good enough. Right about, like... You should give it a little bit more space, because I want waste. Or I want to be able to take care of waste. So right about this... I think this should be okay. Yeah, right about, right about there. And then we'll have the waste bin for this be kind of right here in this area. So we'll say that this road is connected here and then it goes across like that. So that's nice and seamless, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And then uh, we'll go ahead and mark that as a pending construction. And then we will have the waste bin and it'll be right here could actually put it more this way but now although i do need waste also to be over here too so we'll have to have one waste bin here like this oh can i reach i bet if this road got upgraded it would reach but i'm gonna just leave this here so one waste bin goes right there and another one's gonna be over here like so all right so handle in the garbage right and so all of my vehicles in the technical services my big garbage trucks and potentially a couple snow plows they will all now be managed by this one automatically and uh we still need workers to be brought here too right so i was thinking in this area because there's heat here i would probably try to organize this to where there's some buildings over here that maybe are some industry i was thinking maybe of making bricks right here since coal is already coming in this way so i was thinking of making bricks right here and so there would be a bus stop maybe right over in this area and then that bus stop would funnel people to the repair shop to here, etc. 
Uh, so let's maybe get that to be a thing too. So we're going to say that uh, this road, we're going to go there with gravel. We're going to start, we're going to start uh, doing these roads to be gravel at the start. And, you know, I was thinking maybe, eh, I kind of want this road to be, you know what? Let's try this. Let's cancel that really quick. Let's pull this road. We don't need to have it here. This is a dirt road. That's the whole point of the dirt roads is to have it to where you don't have to have it in that exact spot. So I'm going to put it across like this instead. So this is going to be where this is. I'll have another turnaround point right there too. And uh, we'll go ahead and have a road made there. Then uh, we'll get the dirt road to come in and maybe it just kind of funnels or flows over there like that. Okay, so with this, we want a bus stop, and we'll go into bus stops right here. Isn't there a one-way platform? I thought there was. Doesn't look like there is. We'll be going on this side, right about here. All right, and we'll have a walking path to there, and then a walking path will cut across this and connect to this one here, okay? Uh, I don't really want to do that until the road's made because it's all one project right now. And I, yeah, there's two projects. Yeah, there's already a couple projects here. Never mind. We'll just do it. All right. So there is that arrangement. And then, of course, they will be able to go up this way and we'll have people making bricks for us as well over in this side here. All right. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our bricks. And that's gonna be construction industry brick factory. Uh, you know, rail construction office is here, but of all the resources to connect to a rail construction office, I feel like brick is the least important one. Because I don't think uh, the rail construction office even needs brick. I'm pretty sure it doesn't use brick, so... Um, this, maybe I don't need this. Maybe I could put it behind here instead. This might be better. Put it back here like this. I could put it right up against the... Uh, right up against this this building here. There's a road connection that probably works right here. I mean, obviously we can go this way too, but I was thinking if we could round through that walking path through that, right? So maybe we'll maybe we'll do this instead. As long as I can get people to work here, uh, brick factory about here should do it. We'll just go a little bit more space. I don't want to want to learn my lesson here. There's also this high voltage wire, which might be in the way from that placement. I could always pull it back a little bit, but I think maybe it's better to just kind of kill that because it's not built yet. Although, is there anything delivered for it? There is, and I would have to clear that out of here. You know what I probably should do? I think it's time to maybe look into deconstruction offices and uh, just a small one will work. Good God, I really need that done. This gravel building, I know it's it, it's certainly a waste. You know, like, I didn't need to do one this big. But I'm going to shift this to high priority. This takes forever. And it's just taking way too long. Uh, you can see that we are... are dwi we're dwindling here, okay? Our budget is terrible. And uh, it looks like I'm going to have to borrow more money. Borrow more to stay afloat. Take another 120 grand. Try to keep ourselves on our feet. Uh, so deconstruction office is going to have to be a thing, unfortunately. So we're going to go over to, uh, the construction tab and the demolition office is, I think what we're going to need. And I don't know if we need a big one. I think a small one is probably going to be sufficient. We actually can do a free one and uh, you know what? We don't need it very often. So I'm going to just go ahead and do a free one. So this is a demolition office and, uh, you get workers from a certain place, explosives, and then you have construction waste, metal scrap, hazardous waste, and mixed waste. Where does the waste go, right? That's the idea behind this. You, see, you have to tell it where the waste goes. Well, workers, you're totally getting that from the border because that's got to happen. It's fine. Uh, explosives, you can actually get that from this warehouse because uh, this can hold that. Now, I haven't bought any, but I could get some explosives. And so why don't we go over here to my distribution office here, and we're going to tell it... Uh, I don't think this is the right one. It's covered hall. It's this one here. This covered hall doing nothing, right? So this one, let's tell it to grab explosives. Now, if it's able to grab explosives, 
it'll come down to the warehouse and we can tell it to add explosives to that warehouse and so we'll just buy a few and that's going to help us you know breaking down things in case we ever need to and this building needs a few vehicles i don't exactly know specifically what it needs but it probably needs waste trucks yep to clear hazardous waste and stuff so these are for the big big garbages and stuff so i'm thinking maybe we grab uh let's make these let's make them blue the blue ones are the ones that are deconstructing things i think we'll go with one uh i don't actually know what we need other than that i mean i guess excavators might clear things out I've never done anything with demolitions yet. I'm probably going to have to look at that. Uh, we also need bus and transports. Workers need to be transported to places too, right? So uh, we'll do, I think, maybe like one of these smaller buses. Tell me total capacity. So let's get... The micro bus could be fine. Let's do this one. It's got like a blue tint to it. It's just eight, eight people, all right? I don't know how long it takes for eight people to do it, but we're going to do it. Uh, eight people in this one, and uh, this is mostly like a just-in-case sort of thing. I think we're going to need two of these garbage trucks. I'm going to grab two garbage trucks, and then maybe an excavator is needed. Not sure. We'll pop an excavator in there. So there's our deconstruction office. And, uh, of course, we're going to need a place for all the waste to go. So let's talk about that, too. And you know what? We got to talk about coal because that's, like, started. They got 2% of this done, but there's a long way to go and a lot of resources to deliver. It's gross. This one's second only after we get most of our resources being made. But if we can get this up and running, we can send a lot of power to the grid. Like, I want to send, like, 21 megawatt export probably close to 30 megawatt export because we won't be using much and that should really help our budget a lot that'll pay for hopefully pay for the resources to build the second one uh yeah so at the moment though we just need people here but with people coming in they have to they have to pay for themselves and there's so much left to do guys there's so much left to build right discharges we got the switches done but I, only because I put those at high priority, and not all of them, apparently. But, you know, there's just a lot of piping to do, and I don't know. I don't know, man. I think you have to approach the game differently when you have, you know, vehicle maintenance and stuff in. Because I, I feel like we're going to start getting our vehicles breaking down. That was never a concern before, and I think it's going to be. And the inclusion of these extra buildings, these bigger ones, they're very tempting to get to build. Oh, I don't need both of these. Crap. They're very tempting, right, to get the big one, uh, even though I don't need it. Uh, you know, I will need this. Never mind. Keep that going. Make that high priority. Yep, keep that going. Which one of these is closer? Yeah, so this one's the one you want to do. And then that's obviously a high priority, too, to get that in there. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is, it's a different game now, you know? Everything is a real different game, and it's going to be interesting to figure out whether or not it's actually going to work the way I think it's going to. I mean, it's, I have the whole picture in my head of how all this goes, you know, but I have no, I don't know. I, because I have systems I've never used before. It's going to be interesting to see if it works. Um, hope you're interested in question marks on that. <laughs> in the stream series, I always said, Hey, I'm, I'm only here to practice and I'll, you know, I'll restart if I, if I fail. And I think I'll do the same thing here. You know, if we fail, I'll just, you know, I'll just treat it as a practice round and try again. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen, but I mean, maybe. Got some coal in here. We have uh, a vehicle taking from the border, all the way from the border, bringing coal here. So in case you were wondering, yeah, that's a thing. I could also do this with the existing distribution office too. Instead of having a dedicated truck, I could just say that you buy coal here and that you can come over and sell it not sell it you can come over and drop it off over here i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna find my dump trucks that i'm doing this with and uh tell them they don't have to anymore so that i could just have the big guys do it unload coal keep it keep it 70 percent full where's that truck right here is that you nope that's a different one how about you is it you 
No. There are other dump trucks somewhere that are bringing coal to that place. And I just got to figure out where he is. I think it's... I think it's only one. Is it you? No, oh, not you. Well, when I find it, I'll know. And then I'll just... Uh, tell it not to do that anymore. I'll send it, I'll set it up and put it uh, in this construction office. We've got a lot of bulldozers and excavators and things. No excavators, actually. Extra, bulldo extra bulldozers, but no excavators. Funny enough. So, yeah. But I think vehicle maintenance is, is definitely the next thing. And you know what? A fire coverage should be a thing I really have to look at. Because if anything goes down right now... I mean... Fires are just much more of a burden now, right? So if anything goes down now, I got it. I got to get this done. Got uh, almost six houses ready. As soon as this is up and running and the basic utilities are done, I'm going to start bringing people in because I need workers to start doing all sorts of stuff over here. And uh, if we could start getting our own gravel, that would be really great. But also just bringing workers in from town means I don't have to pay for foreign labor anymore, which is a big expense. So I don't want to have to deal with that anymore either. So hopefully nothing burns down in the meantime. But in, in case of it in the future, I think what I probably should do here is um, this bus stop. We should do two things because I need, I don't know. Like, should I put the, the vehicles to be repaired? Should I should I put it right there? There's no workers there. I, I feel like the workers are, are better to suit better suited to come right here. But if I have a dedicated bus that's just, you know, like a micro bus that brings people in. How many people work at this place? 15. So if I have two micro buses just making a route to bring people to this location, there will always be repair people here. And then I don't have to have any of these vehicles moving around. I, I like that better. I just do. Sorry, I just do. I like it better. I want it. That's the original plan, and I want it to work. We're going to see. Also, I'm not sure what the heck you're doing, but uh, I don't know what this thing's doing. It's like frozen in time, man. Is this a flatbed? Can you load on that? There we go. Look, you're on a flatbed. You can take it to a place. This one here is bugged out, too. I'm going to tell you to go over here. Of course, it doesn't have a place. To, it doesn't have a way to get there now, does it? Uh, okay, we have just so many things to look at. I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let me see about placing this, and I'll be right back. Okay, this little pixel here is the only place I can place this building and have both of these construction offices in. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but it's the only place I could do it where is I don't have any spare excavators and things. So, uh, All right, so we're going to say... This comes straight down. This comes over like so, I guess. And this needs to go connect back to this. I want you to connect again. Pretty please. Yeah, right here. No? What's in the way? Overlaps with existing construction. I don't believe you. All right, well put you there for now I mean I know there's power poles here but I'm pretty confident we could get this in here yeah right there you silly game let's have to hit f4 to convince it to see things my way all right so this vehicle repair station we'll just have a couple micro buses that are having a dedicated route coming coming around and just dropping people off like I think two micro buses back and forth here should be enough to keep this thing staffed at least I hope it is We'll see. Uh, in this side here, we want to... Let's set up a fire department. We actually have three different fire departments now and two hospitals. Or a little small clinic, right? So I like this little fire station here. It's a real tiny one. It's um, not that expensive. And I think it's going to work out just fine. We're going to set this right here. I'd like it to be in range of that garbage. Uh... Oh, this gar... Oh, I see. Yeah, the garbage is right there. Sorry. So, we're going to put this fire station, I think, right there. Little tiny one. And that covers it by this garbage here, too, which is nice. Uh, then... Uh, and, and then you're going to have to come up this way. So, you'll this, this walking path will end up going like this. 
and then you'll be able to walk here provided we have a road that allows that passage which i feel like i'm just gonna do this and uh there's so many like tiny little projects there to get that road to be gravel but we're gonna do it it's fine all right so that's fire coverage for there Getting very, very close to having Sports Dynamo done, Shopping Center done, Hospital and Fire are still a little ways away here, and I need to buy vehicles for that. Uh, can I get used ambulances? Is there a used ambulance? There's a used police car, which, I mean, again, they're going to break down unless I repair them. That's expensive, too. I really want this. That's cheap real cheap but unfortunately i need the packed ones the first one needs to be a packed one unfortunately so uh when i buy one of these i can only get nope track builder you have to buy uh there's no packed one here uh-oh unless it's something different hold on Maybe it's not considered a track builder. Maybe it's considered something else. Or do they just lower the weight of this thing so I can put it on a flatbed? The AGMU. Uh, then we have dry containers. Huh. There's normally one that's packed up. But the empty weight is 10 tons. Oh. Oh, okay. So they just lowered the weight. That's, that's what it looks like, because it's 10 tons now. No, empty weight is 29 tons. What? This says 29 tons. So it must be something different, isn't it? Disassembled. Ah, there it is. It's in a disassembled. This is what I needed to buy right here. My track builder right here. I think I'm going to do this before... Before I lose the ability to do it. I don't have the money anymore. I'm going to grab this. The, before I do that, though, I need to make sure that the vehicle... There's a truck that's going back and forth here. Bringing, bringing any vehicles I buy. Is it you? No. There's a vehicle that's doing this. Flatbed. It's not blue this one yeah so what i want you to do is just to bring this somewhere else and i think instead i'm gonna have you come to this uh come to here and just do nothing okay so let's delete this stop you're gonna load a vehicle and then do nothing when you come here so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and buy that now just so i have it and then what will happen is this truck that I, that's coming up here, he'll grab that, load it onto the flatbed, and he'll just sit over there and wait until I need it because the track builder is something I definitely want to have soon. So, they'll have to wait. I find that, like, it's very rare that all five of these are being used. They really need to allow multiple vehicles to move in this area at one time. That's a much needed feature in this game. In my opinion. You didn't load it. You didn't load the vehicle. Why didn't you load the vehicle? Go back there and load the vehicle. I bought it, right? Brand new. Load it. Okay, what's going on here? Your capacity is 13 tons. Maybe you're not able to load it. Maybe it's just like a... It's a special thing that has to be... Like maybe the route... I bet this is what it is. I bet the route that I have to take... In order to bring that... Is... Uh, I have to have the destination be the track builder. I bet. Um, speaking of which... There's another thing I think I want to do here. If I wasn't in debt a lot, I would do this right now. Uh, I would like to best I can anyway if there's a used one definitely uh, that really long track builder I want the really long track builder right everybody loves that thing everyone always told me to get that thing 
And I think it will make a meaningful difference, but the uh, the problem is that it gets very expensive. By the time you can buy it, it's very expensive. However, right now, it's only 94,000 rubles. Later on, it's going to be like 700,000 rubles, right? This thing gets incredibly expensive. And so I feel like we should just buy them now because there's no way that I'm going to want to pay 700 grand or something later, right? So why don't we... Uh, not that menu, this one. Why don't we take another loan? Uh, and we'll do like 160 grand. Maybe, maybe we'll wipe these loans out. So there's 230,000. So why don't we borrow 300 grand? No, we need more than that. 320 grand. Yeah, borrow 320. We're going to buy this. And then we're going to go ahead and pay off all these. So 112, 741. And then uh, 117, 629. All right. So now I've got one of these track builders. Okay. I technically cut into my debt a little bit there, didn't I? No, I borrowed a little bit more, right? Never mind. No, that's impossible. Uh, we actually have one of these things now, okay? And it's just going to sit in the station and do nothing, but it's here, right? And um, we'll be able to use it once uh, once this track, once one of these tracks are built, we'll be able to use it, right? So I should probably start by making sure that we focus down one train track only in the beginning and uh oh it's the other one sorry no this is the one we want to focus on yep it's the the wooden one is the one i want to focus on in the beginning because it's the cheapest so we'll go in and say that one so this one's is canceled i don't think it merges anywhere else no so we're just going to cancel some random tracks come all the way over here and uh sorry about the camera we'll then cancel this one this one and this one and then on this side we'll make sure that you don't build that one uh you don't this is a wooden one so i guess that's fine we just don't want you to build the steel tracks all right you can build the wooden ones but not the steel tracks okay and everything else is good to go. All right. So, yeah, I mean, we're playing the debt game again, right? That's just got to happen. Until we get this building operational, that's just got to happen. 829 tons of concrete equates to how much money? Like, seriously, are we going to... How much money? Uh, I might need to buy more concrete. 18 rubles per ton. Okay, so to get 829 tons of concrete delivered here we are basically going to need that doesn't seem that bad wait a minute hold on 829 tons and we only pay 18 rubles per ton that's not bad at all it's 15 grand that's nothing it's the steel that's the problem the steel is the expensive part because it's 287 tons of steel and 287 tons of steel is a lot 287 uh, times, what is it? 361. So that's 103,000 rubles worth. So that is why I've been buying steel this whole time, though. It's so that... Oh, it's ready. It's up. It's good. This thing's going to be this thing's gonna be awesome. I'm going oh, to wait to see that thing. Uh, that's why I've been buying a lot of steel. So we're sitting over here with 315 tons of steel. We have enough to build. Everything is ready to build that. All right, so if I was to kill every construction project and tell them to 100% focus on this building, they could do it. And that makes me happy. How are we going to use this building, though? Right? Because we need coal, right? Coal's got to be a thing. Well, we want to process that coal, and uh, we're already sending workers here, so maybe we can get them. Oh, that's too close. For coal processing? I think that's too close. I was going to do it over here. So the same workers that go here would be processing coal but i was thinking of maybe getting a little closer but yeah i don't think so let's see this bus stop what's the distance here from that point 
to over here. It's 400, so that's not good enough. If we did it right here, if we processed coal right here, we would be able to get these workers to participate. We're already sending them to this point, so I could get them... We could get them to process coal over right here, which... I mean, it does work. It's 308. Uh, yeah, 308 meters. So we, we could get that. Like, two coal processors right in this spot here. Right? So, if that was the case, we would go with coal processing plants. We'd have two of them. We could put one like this. Yeah, I think it would be like here. And then another one, I think think they'd be able to reach this if I placed it here. Although infrastructure... Oh, the those power lines are in the way. Damn. Uh, okay, we, maybe, maybe we can cope. Let's try this. Instead, we will start on this side. And we'll see just how close we're allowed to get. So I can get here if I had a free excavator. Okay. Assuming I can get there, then I should be able to theoretically place this here. Flipped around. Should be able to flip this here. And that gets me... That gets me where I want to be, but... At the same time, it doesn't, though. Because this is still in the way of potentially more gravel processing. That's the thing that really should go here, is gravel processing. Alright, we're going to have another... Another set of bus routes here. I mean, how far away is it from this bus stop? I mean, if we made this a, a, a real bus stop instead of just this little tiny thing... They can still walk here, though. They could still walk here, right? From this bus stop to over here. Oh, yeah. We could process it right here. That's no big deal. The coal ore just has to come extra far, though. That's the that's the only downside is that we need to bring the coal ore really far, process it, and then bring it back. I don't know. Is it worth it? I don't think so. I think just, just the utilization of the bus stop should be enough. You know, I think we just bring a bus stop right here and then we process the coal as planned. I'll have to think that over. But that's that's what we're ultimately going to do. So coal storage will be over here and um, I'll figure out where we're going to process it later. But coal storage, we need aggregate, aggregate storage, lots of different aggregate storages, right? But ultimately, whichever one is the lightest on steel, that's the one I want to do. And it turns out this one is. This one's pretty light. It only take it only holds a thousand coal, but it's the lightest on steel. What does it does it take something else in its place? No. I mean, yeah, this one holds a thousand, and it costs less ton less less steel than this one. Man, maybe I should have used this one. Um, but I can have two thousand, which is almost what this one does. And I can have it for less steel and less asphalt, slightly more mechanical components, and a ton more concrete. So these are really heavy on concrete, but that's okay because concrete's way, way inexpensive compared to steel. I think I'm going to do this one. So this is a thousand, thousand coal, all right? And uh, what we'll do is I think we'll set it up to be maybe over here like this. Maybe right here. So ideally what we would see here all right from this point there's a thousand coal here we're gonna send that over here to two different storages over here actually because i want to process brick uh so we'll say that the brick will be here and then it's gonna have its own storage and the own storage will be i hate that i've gotten that done yeah oh it is what it is We'll make it work. Let's do the brick factory. Let's place this where we need it. So we're going to place this right up here. A little bit of space. Sounds... That's, this sounds okay. Right. Infrastructure. There. Place the brick there. Okay. And so this will go that direction. Well, we need to make sure it will actually feed. So we'll come over like this. And we're going to place you. Hey, that's not bad. 
Let's place you here. Like that. Okay, so it goes over top of the road. So we do something like something like this. Should be acceptable. Come from this side. This should work. And then we should see this be able to go over that road. At least I thought it would. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Let's make it taller. Perhaps the taller one will do it. So the taller one... Uh, we want to change to... Like that. Sorry. Got a brain fart on my hotkeys for a second there. Uh, we're going to go about like this. Actually got to be curious if I could just go straight to it from this side of the road. I can. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's better. Let's do it this way then. From this side of the road right there. Perfect. Then we'll take a small storage for this too. Um, it's heavy on concrete, but I, I like it. Another thousand storage right here. And uh, we want to flip it so that the... Oh, you're not going to let me do it, are you? You're not going to let me have the road on the correct side. Oh, but a bummer. I want the road over here. I ain't going to let me have it. I like how skinny this one is, though. That's cool. So we're going to have it be here. Uh, You know, let's flip this around. We'll put the road on this side, after all. No. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm indecisive here. I'm trying to figure out how to line it all up. I think I'll do it about like this. As long as it's not going to be in the way of... Hmm. It's all about that road connection. Just line it up with power poles out there so that the road connection can get out this way like that okay traffic jam oh we're out of money so i don't have power <laughs> hey there's actually no oil in here either what happened oh my goodness did we seriously go through all of the oil Oh, boy. That's no good. Well, we haven't had power, so they just kept taking it. Well, no, they can't take it without power. That's the way the system's designed. This needs power to operate. Either way, I'm out of money, and that's no good because it means that I'm going to start owing a lot. Ugh, guys. The debt spiral begins. I'm sorry, but it does. The debt spiral now begins. We can now hopefully get these things loaded. I hope. That's a real bummer. <sighs> All right. Anyway, so we got the uh, the coal coming out from here. We'll process the coal. It gets sent uh, over to here. In a separate storage, which then feeds bricks. But it's also going to feed this, which is where our aggregate is for heat. So again, heat has its own source. And it pulls at the same pace as bricks but bricks pulls directly from this this has its own source um so in so fact in in so doing this only has this but this has both of these as a source of coal it also has this as a source of coal so there's a lot of stuff backing up the heating plant including its own dedicated source of coal uh so from there we want to go in and grab this and i'm hoping that this will just click this is what I was afraid of, is these power poles are going to be in the way. Uh, right there. I mean, the road isn't there, though. Flip it over. Go this way. Uh, come on. Give me that. That connector right there. Come on. It's it's there. It'll have to be good enough. If it lets me hit this, I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay. It's good enough. So that's, that's how we're going to feed coal. That's our process. So all this stuff is sorted out now, aside from the obvious, which is feeding the actual power plant. So uh, we'll go up to this one here, and it'll be really easy. We'll just do it like this. Okay, so both of these... Whoops. Oh. Interesting. 
think. Thought you were going to allow that. Is it the road again? It's the road again, isn't it? There we go. Lower this. Go here. There. That's better. So this road needs to come across like this. We'll just bring it up from here and, and meet it on this side. It's fine. Well, that's a zigzaggy. I'll fix it. It's fine. Anyway, you see the plan, okay? Process coal, send it, feed it this way, get it into the power plant, and then finish all of this stuff and just keep borrowing until we can. But I'm pretty confident. I am. I really am. Pretty confident that once we get this building operational, not only are we going to make a lot of money on the power export using infrastructure that is largely built already, or at least the resources are already purchased to build it, uh, but we'll hopefully be, we'll be able to get out of debt. I'm confident we'll be able to get out of debt from this. Uh, currently, our debt payments are just 8,500 a month. We can definitely export power at a higher than that rate. So we definitely want to. Um, and then, of course, with these guys being super lined up, it's not giving the oil a chance to build up. I feel like I'm actually going to go ahead and just do this. We're going to take one. We're going to take one of these trucks out of here. Let's take two of these trucks out of here. We'll take two of these trucks uh, off of the route. And, uh, and that way, this thing can build up again. All right? Because the winter's coming, too. So I want to be able to build that up. All right. I think that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Brick production over here. Uh, rail construction is going to be here. Our gravel storage is ready. We just need to bring gravel to it. And, of course, provide it with power. All that stuff needs to be routed for power. Uh, we do have, like, power transformers and stuff that are starting to get built. Uh, we do have a lot of these substations that are constructed and ready to go. They just need wires to be routed to them, right? So things like this, we can go over and do this straight out from, from here. And uh, I want to kind of hug the building, if I can, right here, and nice and tight up against that building, right? And then this just goes, you know, kind of wherever. We can, again, hug the building to... Maybe we'll put it on this side. And bring it over like that. And then pop it in there. You know? Just providing power where it's needed to get all the lights turned on. Okay? We'll do it. It'll get there. We'll just have to borrow a bunch of money to get there. Okay? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.